Hello and welcome to episode 18 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how you can share a project that uh, you are working on, or should I say, sorry, share a project, so share a notebook um, with your colleagues or with your wife or with your kids or with whoever you want to share a notebook with. Now, Evernote is an amazing application because it's got so many features. A lot of these features are sort of buried behind many other little things and Evernote works perfectly well as just a simple basic note taking application. But if you want to get the most out of Evernote and certainly now with their new pay, uh, their new monthly subscription service or their new subscription service, I should say, um, if you are paying for the Evernote Plus or Evernote Premium, you really want to get the most out of using Evernote. Now, one of the excellent features in Evernote is the ability to share notes, notebooks uh, or whatever. Uh, with your work colleagues and I have a project here called my uh, business creativity project or let's say uh, yeah my business project doesn't really matter um, I can actually create a number of things with this now if I click control click so if I do control click I can share this notebook I can publish the notebook and publish the notebook basically makes it publicly available online um, but the one that you probably want to use more frequently is a shared notebook. So if you have many colleagues who are using Evernote as well as yourself, then you can actually share a notebook with other people and they can add notes to that notebook. They can edit notes in the notebook. Uh, there are many things that they can do. Now, basically, all you have to do to do that, as I say, I'll go back to that, is control click on a Mac. I'm not entirely sure how to do this on Windows, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty similar. But anybody who's watching this who uses Evernote on a Windows machine, please, if you could just leave a note in the comment section how to do this on Windows, that would be fantastic. So thank you very much. So click on share notebook and click on shared. And then all you have to do is add the email, the name if somebody's already in your email list or, or just add the email address of the person that you want to share the notebook with. That is really it. That's it. Now, if they are using Evernote and they have the Evernote applications on their desktop, mobile devices and so on, then that notebook will go into their Evernote uh, notebooks list. And if they are not an Evernote user, then it will just give them a link to the website view of this note link so they can still edit and play around with the notes in there. So sharing notebooks is a really useful feature. And if you are using this in this, if you're using Evernote in a basic format, for example, you could set up, uh, let's see if I can do that now. I'll just do um, create a new note in my inbox and let's call this shopping list. Um, let's create uh, a checkable list. So um, apples, bananas, I can't spell bananas, um, um, chicken, dog food, etc. Okay, so again, if I click on the control click and I can share this note and I can share, can edit and invite. So and then I can just add the name or the email address of this person. Now, let's say, for example, that my wife is an Evernote user. I can send this note to her as a shared note and she can then add and edit the shopping list as required. So a really, really cool feature that you can use in Evernote a little bit more advanced and maybe beyond what you ever thought Evernote could do. But this is really, really useful uh, for those people who have friends, colleagues, or spouses, girlfriends, boyfriends who also use Evernote. Of course, you could do this. Uh, you could set up a, a holiday purchase list, a holiday checking list, any kind of list you can just share with anybody you like just using their email address. And if they have Evernote, it'll join into their Evernote application. If not, it'll take them to the website version of Evernote. Okay, I hope you found that useful, sharing notebooks notes in Evernote. 
and if you have any questions at all about Evernote please add them in the comment section below and if you have anything that you would like me to cover in future episodes of Evernote again please leave a note in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to get round to it. Okay that's it for this week I hope you have a very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.